to the cat right here. Hey, oh, cat. Well, you're talking and you're on live on air. Oh, we are? Uh-huh. Well, I didn't know you were recording. It's okay. It's not actually recording. It's broadcasting. Oh. Yeah. Roscoe, yeah. I feel like they work well together. Like, but I do believe Jalon's more of a guard than he is as a forward. Yeah. And he's he's definitely he versatile. I could see him at like a two, maybe at a three. I don't know Get about the a, and see where we're at. Here. I don't know about a one though. Aim on the clock. We got. Aim on the clock. No, show the clock. Alright, wait, wait. Don't go to the clock. Gotta point up. Oh, it's because it's on Zoom. There we go. And that should be more stable. That's all. We have a scoreboard on each side, but just get the score right there. Alright. You'll, you'll see the angle. Alright. Now it says what? Eight, eight, about eight minutes? Yeah. Let's see right here. Oh, we're only, we're only about 20 seconds from that, which is very good. Yeah. Roscoe on playing sprained ankles from last week. Uh, and you got to be quiet because it's gonna. Right now it's picking you up. You can hear our voices. All right. So don't be like. What are you doing? Yep. Oh, 
Oh yeah, it is. The only reason she came is because I, I said it, and, and that's the other thing, you can't stomp your feet because you shake the camera. Yeah, cat. The only reason she came? No, because, <laughs> because she, I told her if she comes, I'll get her raising canes. You like raising canes? Yeah. Of course I do. I actually tried getting them as a sponsor. Catherine. Go say hi in the black shirt. Bryce, Masamba, he won't remember her. <laughs> yeah, he will. I'm sure of it. Catherine's excited. Bryce remembered her. Is that Kevin Young? We're live already, T. Huh? We're live already. I'm Yeah. Yeah, he is tall. I didn't know Kevin Young was from Vegas. Kevin Young isn't from Vegas. Oh, why is he here? Because he's going to be trying out in the summer pro league, or the NBA league. D league? No, the NBA Summer League is here. All the, oh. well, if you're guaranteed, like Anthony Bennett's not going to play, first of all, he's hurt. Yeah. Second of all, he's a guaranteed pick, but those guys that want to get looks and all that kind of stuff. And He'll play in the Summer League if he can. Though. Who? Bennett. I don't know if he will. The NBA Summer If he can. No, not the Las Vegas one. Yeah. Will he? I, th I thought usually the high draft picks didn't play. No. Yeah, that's, that's, what you're on the That's how I thought it would always be, all rookies. No. People are trying, trying to make a team, too. Yeah. Oh. you knew who Kevin Young was, though. I could tell because of the fro. <laughs> turn, turn it to the clock again, Johnny. I will, we're much faster. 256. Yeah, because you'll, you'll get the free throw shoot on there a little bit. The bite. We're 11. Nice. Yeah, you're not able to hear us, Steve. Not at all. Barely. I mean, we really have to be next to this bad boy. We gotta be up in here like this. See, that's what we're looking for. How quick is it coming? We're looking for a mic to go into this. And then split it, and then we both hold the mic, right? Yeah. So, it's about 20 seconds behind you. As opposed to a minute and a half. Oh, Billy White's here. San Diego State, the regular yep. season guy. Yeah. Billy has no time for the preseason. Yeah. Practice. Yeah, what? Practice. And you know what? Why don't you go by yourself? Do you want a water, Johnny? Uh, yeah. Go buy two waters. From the girls right there. Because you're going to get the rest of the time. It's hot here. Do you want to turn on the air conditioning yet? I'm going to go to the gator again. The, the big gator. By the door. The guy at the gator. But it's just water. It's not gator. So I want to get your hopes up. On camera, we have Mr. Famousosity, Johnny Spilatro. Oh! World renowned racer. Yep. Yep. Champion. Las Vegas Speedway racer. Yep. 
champion EDC party here. We just found out. Did you go to that? Thing? I did not go to EDC. <laughs> all my friends did. Did they really? Yeah. They all got. I'm not gonna say it. <laughs> That'll get it. So. Stop the 41 seconds. Yeah, they're waiting for everybody to get here. I want to get this tilted back, but I don't want to count this as one. What does this do? Something should allow the head to tilt back a little bit. Yeah, that'd be better. Alright, there. Oh no, but now you can. Two bucks? Did you get four? To get a little tilt on this bad boy. Oh, that's what this might be. You mean to tilt down? Yeah, now when you get the free throw shooter, you can get the minutes and the score. Perfect. So you think you can stay with the action? Yep. Uh, the key is, even if the ball moves fast, you don't want to go too fast on it. Uh-huh. You will you still want to pan at a decent rate. You know, always keep the ball at the very back of it. Right. Like if they're going this way, you want the ball here. Yeah. If they're going this way, the ball over here. All right. Once they get into the half court, you can focus a little bit closer to the. You'll, you'll get the hang of it. All right. Well, I, Johnny doesn't let doesn't text me. He doesn't tell me if he's coming. But you can play around. With, you can chill, but I'd say you could go talk with Bryce, but he's got a little girly there. Yeah, we called your after. Yep. Her legs are taller than me. Are we going to get rosters? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Here you guys speaking. You can hear speaking, but you got to talk loud. Okay. We'll talk loud. Or I'll stand up and talk in there. Right I don't even know where the microphone is on this thing. I think the microphone's in the front. Be good to know. See, but T. We have a we have a thing right here. You know what I'm saying? Split it. Each hold the mic even. Yeah. Simple. Mic it up. You gonna raise your glass? <laughs> Scott, do you have rosters? No rosters? Nothing. All right. Well, we could recognize the rebels. If Number you, three is Taquan Cook. See that? Eight save on. Our son Catherine down. She could be our gopher. That'd be useful. Yeah. You could be our stat runner. He's videotaping. I'm videotaping. <laughs> I can't do two things at once. <laughs> you know who Kevin Young is, right? Yep. Who did he play for? Kansas. And who did he play for before that? There was a school he played before that. Yeah, he played for Coach Good at Loyola Marymount. Oh, he did? Yeah. Come on, Johnny, you got to know your college basketball. I don't know anything. Captain, who's number three in purple? Right here with the ball. Take, Take one! one. We just it. it. Number eight will be the high score. I'm willing to take bets on that. Yep. Save on Goodman. No or doubt. Don't, don't count out Kevin Young from Kansas, though. 
You know, he's a potent scorer. You tell me if we lower this. Am I, are we losing the view? Let's look at the scoreboard and see. Because that'll be closer to... The mic will be closer to T and I. Yeah. And it's... Yeah, we oh, yeah. got it. And it's, it'll probably be easier instead of reaching real high for you. Broadcast, ladies and gentlemen, for Team Om Saloon, excuse me, Salon, Salon, versus Team Level 1 Athletics, Level 1 Athletics, thank you Johnny, we got Johnny Smolatro on the camera tonight, doing the mixing, uh, Catherine Cameron Lingo is the runner, and Joe Smolatro on color commentary tonight, welcome to week two the regular season starts tonight for the Desert Rain Pro City Summer League. This is a big game tonight, Joe. Uh, we have a couple injuries that we need to talk about. Unfortunately, yeah, it looks like we're, uh, we're not going to get to see Jalon, Kendrick, or Roscoe Smith tonight. Playing for, I'm sorry, well, who are they playing Level for? Level 1 Athletics. Level 1 Athletics. Both uh, have a small tweak in their ankles. I know they're playing Nothing for the serious. Salon, actually. Okay. And, uh, but we'll be without him tonight, so for UNLV fans, keep an uh, eye on number three in the purple. Sure, Dequan Cook and Savon Goodman. You See, three I, and eight. I, I think I think Savon Goodman is going to keep up his scoring and probably dominate. And after three games, he will be the leader in the league still. See, what do you think? Absolutely, I do, and uh, we'll see. It goes from preseason to the regular season. Defense will probably get stiffer tonight. Uh, we're still going to see a lot of threes, I assume. And it's time to go. It, it, it's the regular season. It's Sam Johnson at the line right now. These games are made for Savon Goodman. These open gym type, get out and open floor. Pair of misses there. Yeah, you're absolutely right. And uh, last last game he he had a challenge of P. Allen Stinnett. And oh, there we go with the alley oop connection, oh, UNLV oh, connection oh, to Quan Cook to Savon Goodman. Hope to see some of that next year. And uh, right last week he goes against Stinnett and nice. a block from Goodman. Last week block rebound ahead to Kevin Young. Rebound grab there by White. This week he goes against a little bit longer, even just as veteran of a player in Billy White. We'll see how that matchup trends. Rebound by Sam Johnson. Right back to Billy White who drives and can't finish, but he does. Around the rim. Two, two to two. I'm looking forward to seeing what Saquon could do out here. See, he, last game he only got in a half. He suffered from cramps a little bit. He, he fell in the cramp situation. Uh, Savon there gets another bucket. Savon with a quick four. And good defense by Saquon Cook forces a turnover jump. That's what he's known for, right? His quickness. That's it. His and, and quickness, his ball defense. handling, and his uh, court vision. But he can get into you defensively, can he? Yeah, he can. Well, that was a quick shot. Pulls up, shoots a little long, grabbed by Billy White. White will bring it down the floor. He's going against Kevin Young, who uh, played in the Final Four this year with Kansas. Long three missed. These guys might be a little bit nervous. Uh, regular season has, has, is upon us, and 
Uh, you can feel the tension in the room, packed house here at Sawyer Middle School. Daquan Cook looks in to Kevin Young. He gives it to Savon Goodman. He's going to look to score. He's going to post go on Billy White. White. Take him. Nice move. Billy he White with the steal. Step, you know. Great first step. Tell us about that. It's something we're going to probably see more of Savon in the future. I think he's going to be projected, uh, projected more as an undersized four than he is a three, like some people thought when he was coming in. Sort of like a Wendell White, more athletic, a little bit more powerful. I like that comparison. Here comes the push. Young, the good one. Good one can't finish. They banged a little bit and they hit. Yeah, well, it's summer league fouls aren't called all that often. They were early in the preseason. Uh, I think the refs are tightening up the whistle now. That these games matter. Well, when they mean more, yes. We will say Team One Athletics was two and zero in the preseason. Will that carry on? There's a bull move. Kick to Rashad Muhammad, who can't finish the three. You never see it in these summer league games, T, because it's all about offense and everybody's looking to get theirs. But I'd really like to see Daquan emerge a little bit more as a playmaker, more so than a scorer. I would, too. I think uh, he's got to add that. Bad pass. Rough alley-oop there. He's going to lead to a breakout with Sion Lane for the Duke. And we got a tie ball game at 6-6. Dominic Watson on the drive. Fouled by Trey Kennedy. The son of uh, another Kennedy. Dominic Watson at the top of the key. He loves to break and shake it here. But he's running a little errant. Even, even the guards are feeling a little bit tight out there, I think. Yeah. See, I think we're going to start seeing a little bit more talent trickle into the gym just as we've seen Billy White show up tonight. He wasn't here the first week. Um, Kevin Young plays, uh, works out, I think, I believe at Impact Academy, and they've got a lot of high talent over there working out over the summer. I know the word is spread to the Impact Academy guys. This is so, where you got to be. That, that these games are real, they're competitive. It's not just a junker league that was thrown together last minute, something where you might get hurt. So hopefully, we, you know, summer league games, the rosters aren't completely set. But oh, look at that there. Well, the and right there on the bench we see for Baum Hair Salon, we've got Jalon Kendrick. He's sitting out along with Roscoe Smith. They still came to support their team. And they're still re wearing rounding Rebel gear, which is always important to go out and about. Speaking of uh, Run the Rebel gear, right now you get $99 worth of free Rebel gear when you hey. sign up on the site for a full year membership. Only got a few days left. Only a few days left to take right. advantage of that. If anybody's thinking about it, oh, bad it's more than worth it. If your your renewal's coming up, go ahead and do it. You may you're basically getting something for nothing. You're getting $100 worth of free clothes for doing something you're already doing. Uh, check it out on the site rebelnet.com. UNLV the official UNLV site. On Rivals.com. I like it. Uh, I like now, it too. That's why we're there. It's true. Right now, the line we got Sam Johnson. I don't know much about Sam. Uh, oh, Sam, uh, he missed his first two free throws, and he comes up short on this one as well. If the game's on the line, we know who to foul. Well, and since we only have five players, you're right. Luckily, in Summer League, you cannot foul out, Joe. I almost wish you could. Now he's 0 for 4, but we have a lane violation. If, 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 if he can't hit a free throw, he shouldn't have been taking that three. Now he gets it, takes a step back from the free throw line. Maybe that's all it takes sometimes. He wants Cook. Bringing the ball up, gets the ball to Savon Goodman. Taking an outside shot, and he's been hitting that, which. That's a deuce, that's a deuce, says the ref. If Savon consistently adds that to his arsenal. He's going to be a dangerous, dangerous, dangerous player. He's going to be big time. Trey Kennedy with the long jumper. Rebound. Nice save by Tyree Anderson. He kicks to Sam Johnson. He nice just, block by Savon. Goodman battling in there. He needed, yeah, he needed to come over and get that. He's not too happy that he missed the second block shot there. And that's what we want to see from Daquan right there. Nice kick. Dunn. He's watching with the three ball from the corner. 
And it's 11-9. Level 1 athletic. Right now we're seeing Kyrie Anderson bringing the ball up. He's going to stop. Looks for a three. Doesn't see it. Trey Kennedy looking to penetrate. A little bit of hesitation there. Nice drive. Move the easy part ahead of Savon. Here we go with the big one. Oh, and a thunder down. And a UNLV crowd erupt on the opposite side of the building. We don't have an official count on the crowd, but that's one of the jobs of Catherine tonight. We'll have her hand count the crowd. Yeah, six one, <laughs> up. Here comes Sivon Goodman again. Ooh. Goodman, two for two. Billy White is not able to keep up with Sivon on the outlet. And uh, for that reason, right now, Goodman has two quick dunks. And as the air conditioning just pops on, Joe, and it feels mighty fine. Sam Johnson. Oh, we got Sivon hitting the head. Here we go. Alley you? Nope. And that was a nice good pass. Work back nice back. Right now, Coach Peterson has to be taking timeout. Uh, it's a quick 8 nothing run. Kyrie Anderson doesn't know what to do. Caught up a little bit. Oh, nice cross-court pass. Beautiful pass. No, that's what usually happens when you make that, that nice snap pass on target, hit a guy in the chest. Give him plenty of time to make a sh get to that and make the shot. Quick turnover. T, unfortunately, we, we don't have a, an old rep here that we expected to play tonight. Ramel Beck yeah. was supposed to participate, but he got a last-second call. And, and despite what the summer league brings you here, it doesn't rain, which is quite a bit. Uh, it signed a two-week contract for what the word is. It was $20,000, so... You got to take that and run straight to Puerto Rico. You're gonna, you're gonna give me twenty thousand dollars for two weeks. I'll do whatever you want to, pretty much. I mean, well, Johnny's doing it. That's how he got on the camera tonight. Yeah. Pays checks in the mail. Absolutely. Quick throw. Thomas checks into the lineup. Two. And uh, immediately makes his presence felt. Quick throw and Billy White have had their battles before. They have. So they have. Quite used to each other down there. Control was a sophomore back then, I believe. Was he not, Keith? Yes, Tori Billy. Well, here's an Aztec. How many people? Goodman looks deep again and knocks down a long jumper. Kyrie oh. Anderson on the other end. Pulls him back to a bit four, 19 15. Level 1 athletic falling asleep a little bit on the defensive end. Here comes Devon Goodman. He's looking to penetrate. He gets in the lane. And a good defensive stop there. Billy White. Oh, Sam Johnson has nothing. Gets the bailout call. Be Sam Johnson's third trip to Lon already, Joe. He's he's been a, a factor offensively, getting into the paint and uh, drawing some contact, but he still has yet to make one. Uh, I don't know if going to the line and missing every time is worth going to the line for. Not unless you're trying to pad your offensive rebounds and you miss the second one. He actually did make one of the three in the last time. And it was there after he go. stepped back. So he knocks another one down. He's keeping the game tight. 19-16. Uh, Player, one, players one. should be feeling better with this air kicking on. Yeah. The sweat's starting to dry a little. Quintrell. Savon in the Quintrell. Short little jump hook off. Kyrie Anderson on the drive. Finds Savon Good. Oh. Savon Good. I cannot believe it. That's going to put Tyree Anderson at the line. It was a good drive, good defense, I thought, though, by, by Savon Goodman. He still has his hands on top of his head. He is in shock. That might be a technical. He is if, we were in Port, if we were in Portland, yeah, go they would have rang him up. Go ahead and team up if he's in Portland. This rebel bond on, the hair, or on level one athletics seems to really be paying off right now. Uh, Daquan Cook, Savon Goodman, Quintrell Thomas, they've all gotten into the action already. And all played a huge part. 
the summer league rules state, T, I believe, any two players currently on a team, there's no no team could have more than two current players from any one university. Former players or incoming players do not count against that. And that's the case with level one athletics right now. Or is that bomb hair salon? I get I get oh, it mixed up. Athletics. Yeah. Uh, the bomb hair salon is in green. Cuticles done for, to perfection. <laughs> Tyree Anderson no, comes up, knocks down the first. Let's see if Savon Goodman tries to play a little bit more cautious here with his third foul in seven minutes. Or will he be just as aggressive, Joe? I'm not sure. Oh, he's going to keep going at it, see? I do not know. Launches, man. That's his first shot of the night. It's a little long and corralled by Trey Kennedy. Billy White down in the corner. He's got Dick Vaughn Cook on him. That's a bit of a mismatch if they can get it inside to him. They can't find him yet. They can't find him. He finds it himself. Imagine that. An offensive ball. rebound for Billy White. Where have we seen that before? Uh, a few times. David Bell too, too many times. White back down and knocks down a three to give level one athletics back that two-point advantage. He was a teammate of NBA champion runner-up Kawhi Leonard. That's right. Billy White. They, they, they made for a tough, tough front court wow. with Malcolm Thomas. Yeah, because Thomas... They were all dirty work guys, which made him even more effective. Tyree Anderson launching from the outside. You know, the guy that, uh, besides John Kendrick and Roscoe Smith, that the hair salon's missing tonight is Gunner Victor Bermudez, uh, who loves to take that outside jumper. What a strong move by Billy White. 10 on finish show with good trope. All of his defense. See, I'm going to go out on a limb here. I think we're going to see level one athletics pull away in the second half. I'm looking on the bench. Yes. And I'm seeing nobody for Bomb Hair Salon except 200 players. So they're going five all night. They are. Today, but, but in these circumstances we've seen before. Uh, just level one athletics think it's going to come easy, <laughs> so they start to uh, ease up a little bit and let their salon hang around and curl them. Wow. Did they let them curl them tonight, Joe? That's I, Just be happy. The heat went on. If the heat didn't go on, somebody might be dropping by half. But, you know, last year we had, uh, again, Nature of the Summer Leagues, we had Demetrius Morant playing back-to-back games. Do you recall that? Yes. He was exhausted after that second we were, one. We were proud of the Gorman Grant after that effort. Ratner with the steal. Well, yeah, those are the things you do in, when you're playing at Sawyer Middle School. How many quads can you up with Trey? And he knocks it down. You can't leave Watson that open. He's got a spring in his step, but his outside jumper is pure. Tyree Anderson looking to explode. Finds himself open and he's way short. Oh, big move by Sam Johnson over Quintrell Thomas. And uh, maybe that's why Sam Johnson was getting fouled earlier. People didn't want that explosive nature near the rim. Second personal on Quintrell. Johnson feeling pretty good. He actually hits that free throw. And all of a sudden, Joe, we're back knotted at 26. You can just see the effort going in onto the paint between Quintrell Thomas and Billy White. Oh, the double team of Thomas. They know what type of threat he is. They saw that New Mexico game from a few years ago. You remember that, huh, see? Drive by Dion Lane. Oh. Oh, the quick beat by uh -oh. Dominic Anderson. Oh, oh my goodness. Nobody thought Trey Kennedy had that type of athletic ability going up against Dominic Watson because Watson's so explosive, but he dunks on top of him. 
Trey Kennedy with the highlight of the evening thus far. Even former runner Bryce Masama got a kick out of that. There he is. There's Bryce. If we can get a closer up version, you can see the smile glistening. Quintrell Thomas for two. We missed. It was a gorgeous shot, one of the best of the evening. Well, the cameraman's got to stay on the ball. Um, we pay him enough. <laughs> Slurpees after, uh, after work. Like Dan, or, uh, excuse me. That's David Bell with two easy layouts. 30 28, level one athletic. Kyrie Anderson with a little push off. Gets him three from three. Is it Sam Johnson for three? It is. Oh. Tight game. He, tight puts, game. he puts the three gun in a holster and uh, gives the air salon the lead again. I threat the spin move to the bucket. Cannot there was some bump in there. They have to call that. See, I think, I think we're going to see level one athletics here going to run. We got Savon Goodman and Daquan Cook on the bench. They're getting, getting fresh. They're getting fresh, getting their win, drinking some Gatorade. And yeah, we've got John Kendrick and Roscoe Smith out of uniform on Bomb Hair Salon bench. So I'd watch for some separation coming in up. In this league, too. you never know when that jersey may reappear. That's not going to happen from these guys tonight. It might not, but you never know when it might reappear. So stick yeah, with man. us, folks. And somebody walking through the doors may just walk through and throw on a green jersey. Absolutely. I'm thinking of going down there myself. Well, then they're going to have an advantage. Well, I can shoot the three. Dean Lane kicks to Sam Johnson. Just feeling it right now. And he knocks down another three. Teddy put that three ball holster in there again. Great defense by Johnson. And Billy White, combination. Billy White oh, can't finish. Looked a little hesitant, Joe. That looked a little hesitant. Looked a little hesitant. Decent block there, T. You know, you... In his San Diego State days, I think Billy would have thrown that one down, Joe. Uh, Kevin Young gets him from behind. I thought it was going to be a rim rattle. He's a guy I would have liked to see in UNLV pursue a little bit more aggressively. He would have fit in nicely with what the Rebels well, lacked that year. Considering UNLV took his teammate, Marcus Lawrence, who will probably be on the floor at some point tonight. Uh, yes. I agree. I, I think uh, he would have added a lot to to those UNLV teams over the day, those four years. He was going to be a four-year guy no matter what. Uh, but I think Billy wanted out of the city. He, he did pretty much. Um. I think Juan forcing it a little bit there, too. Forcing it a little bit. We didn't see that a whole lot last year. Uh, but when you're playing at the Division One level, rather than the, su the summer league, you're going to have a big guy waiting in there to squat that away. <laughs> Folks, if you're sitting at home wondering what you're going to do tonight watching online, you might as well go ahead and take a stop down here off the 215 in Rainbow. Uh, we're at Grant Sawyer Middle School. They'll be in action the again tomorrow. Uh, also tonight, doubleheader, big second game coming up, first night of the regular season. Not many seats left, but there's a few. Uh, Catherine with the official count of 132 on the other side. We've got a few fans here on our side. 132 fans. Uh, well, it's free. Right now we have 270 watching our podcast, or the broadcast. It's a pot, no. So, we know how important the this is to the Rebel fans out there. We thank you for taking the time. Guys, I promise we'll work on some sort of mic hookup. See him late. A little hesitation right to Trey Kennedy. Trey Kennedy showed off his hops a little bit ago. Tyree Anderson on the weed. Hits the three ball. <laughs> Gives him a four-point lead here, the hair salon. Oh, great hand who, who is this number six? Watson. Where did he play? Do you recall? I don't know where he played in college. He plays in the IBL. Okay. Uh, it's an international basketball league. 
and uh, he doesn't have a team as of this moment. Uh, kind of reminds me a little bit there with his build. Uh, Maybe not, Jackson a little bit? No, I was going to, he's smaller, but he kind of has that, a shorter build of a Sunshine Smith. A little bit. And a little bit of that herky-jerky like Sunshine used to have. We talked to his agents, and uh, a few teams are clamoring for his services in the IBL, so look for him if they come to town. Tyree Anderson, a tough pull up in the lane. Rebounded by Rashad Muhammad, his brother Shabazz. Uh, wanted to come. Oh, play great, here. great pass by Savon Beautiful. Word is that the Shabazz Muhammad wanted to come play in the program this year, but as he's gearing up for the NBA draft on Thursday, uh, he had to politely decline. I, I don't know that his defense was good enough to play in this league, too. Whoa. Billy White with the long jumper. A little deep. Take one. Numbers. Off rebound. He's got to look ahead to Simone Goodman. That's going to be trouble, even for the Hawks. Right here. And it's quickly. Level one athletic right back in the lead, 39-37. As you predicted, Joe, uh, the Harris line is tough. Shot lane by CM Lane ties things up 39 apiece. A little over four minutes remaining. Dominic Watson. And this is the part of summer league ball that you don't like. That was a good looking stroke. Uh, little bank shot. He banked the last one. One of this one. Billy White gets the rebound and will head to the free throw line. Billy played at Green Valley High School. Then for the Las Vegas Prospects AAU along with Mark Marcus, Marcus Lawrence. Lawrence. This, uh, guy we'll see later on tonight. T. Allen Stinnett. And also I believe the kid that went to Reno. Oh, Zizek. No, Luke Babbitt. Oh, Luke Babbitt, yes. Luke Babbitt was on that team. Double lefties on that one. They called him uh, the Las I, Vegas South Pauls. I don't think season. Anthony Marshall was on that team as a youngster yet. He may have been, he may have been one of the I young, young he, kids. He was the under-16 prospect. Though. Okay. He was a star in his own right. And then yeah. he went on to start for the Rebels. He might be playing tonight. He might suit up to this hair salon if he shows. Kevin Young in the post. I really believe. Plays off the double team. Hits the shot. We got to send a messenger here to go talk to Bryce Massam and ask him why he doesn't have the guts to play in this. Uh, that would be interesting to find out. We do have a sideline reporter tonight, Catherine Camerlingo, if we could pan over. Uh, there's our sideline reporter. Hello, Catherine. <laughs> and uh, if we could get you down onto the floor and uh, find out from Bryce. If he's planning on playing this summer, Kyrie Anderson, top of the key, over Daquan Cook, good looking jumper, and he gives him the three ball look right in the middle. Daquan tried to match it. Kyrie Anderson again, no? Great rebound. A little short on that jumper. Uh oh, Savon with the run at. He's not giving it up. Oh no. Oh no. One on four, and Savon Goodman finds a way to dunk that ball. Even Catherine stood up for that one. Yes, yeah, she did. That dunk by Savon, it brought her out of her seat, and she doesn't even like basketball. And she doesn't like to stand much either. She's just a reporter. Rashad Muhammad with the, with the rebound. Looks to push. Oh. Tip it. Joe, by right now, right now one needs a timeout. Yeah. Uh, this get, is kind of what I expected under the dryer. to see. We, see. we see some players lagging behind here. They're letting level one athletic get to the rim a little too easy. Uh, no one's stopping ball. As you see out there, Tyree Anderson. Billy White just, I think he's a little bit sick and tired of getting scored on there. Or he needs to catch his breath. Pretty much the whole hair salon is holding their knees and gasping. More people find Ben Carter Carter shows up, uh, another former Gorman player. Ben Carter. Currently uh, at the University of Oregon. He'll be playing in the second game. Could very well play in this first game. We don't know. Doesn't look like he's too eager to get in there right now. Well, the eagerness is whenever you get out to the parking lot here at the Summer League. You can hear the crowds, and uh, you know 
It's your time to shine. Johnny, are you, you're, you're our current Gorman student. Are you teeming with pride seeing a couple of ex-Gorman players out here? Absolutely. I love to see him showcase around out here. Shows him what Vegas talent's all about. I like to see what Vegas talent's all about. You're right. We'll see. So, I mean, we got Rashad, Marcus Lawrence. Trey Kennedy with the ball. Sam Johnson might have played there at some point. Javon Goodman with the rebound. Up to David Bell. We've got two minutes left here in the first half. Still pretty close game. David Bell for the long three. Mm-hmm. And they're starting to open it up, Joe. Mm-hmm. Halftime cannot come soon enough. It's like a boxer on the rope nearing the end of a round. He just needs that bell to sound. A lot of one-on-one stuff, a lot of standing around. Uh, they could use a big three here from Sion Lane. Or a deuce, anything. A little short. That's going to lead to another Numbers runner. again. Numbers again. This is going to keep the in numbers, Steve. Oh, they they need a little bit of break. I think I think somebody's got to suit up for green too. Nearly everybody in the gym is eligible. Uh, this is a pro am, so you can be a professional or an amateur. Uh, Just can't be out of high school, um, unless you've signed a letter of intent. You can't cannot be a recruitable student athlete. Other than that, you can play. So anybody but they're not the going to take just anybody, T. Well, Bryce Masamba's over there. He could suit up. Fifty-one forty-four. Two minutes left. One fifteen, actually. And the uh, level one athletics, they can smell blood right now. Joe Rashad Muhammad is just gearing down on Seam Lane, who's looking for a cutting of a teammate. Not one. Nobody's moving. moving. As the shot clock winds down, he looks Sam Johnson, pull up three, got it. That was a needed needed shot. Going into that, that, this three or four minute halftime break, they needed that. They need to stay close. Hide and rat. Looking to David Bell. Savon Goodman. Facing up Billy. And that's the, the air conditioning. They had to pump it on a little strong here tonight. Uh, played havoc with that shot there. See him lane with a long jumper. No good. Savon Goodman runs it down, kicks the high rack. Numbers again, T. Kevin Young, what's he going to do? Kicks for the open. Shoot. Oh, and it's out of bounds. And right now, that's the best thing that could have happened for this hair salon. Just hold the ball, take one shot. Yes. Get to that halftime as soon as possible. And that's going to be in 14 seconds. I don't think the ball's going to leave Lane's hands. No. He's probably going to try and get to the lane and make something happen, which he does. And uh, Ratner with the steal. Three, two, one. Great block at the buzzer. Big block by Kyrie Anderson. Then the half after the hair salon was unable to get a shot off. We're at halftime, folks. 51 We're going to try to get some at least UNLV pertinent stats for you guys as we go into this four-minute break. We'll stay on the air. What do you think uh, Coach Peterson's saying to the team right now? Just try to last and make it to the end of the game. Just, I'm, that, that's what I'm thinking, T. How about you? Just get him a drink and uh, let him rest. Yeah. But he is saying something. Over here on Level 1 Athletics, their coach is going after him a little bit, saying, we need to, we need to get him down. We need to... Uh, Put her foot on the gas a little bit. With no shot clock, T, maybe we'll see Bomb Hair Salon going to something a little bit slower. Four quarter, maybe? Try and keep the big bugs? Nah, not in summer. They got second thought. Well, Dean Smith walks through those doors in the next or, three or, minutes. Or Bo Ryan could just run his regular offense, right? That's correct. He takes the place of Coach Peterson down here for the salon. We could see them really slow it down. And it could be an effective way to go about it. That's unfortunate. I was hoping to see a green shirt go on. 
some double duty. That's Not Pierre happening. Jackson, I spot. We do have Pierre Jackson. Pierre Jackson. That's the kind Taylor. of that's the kind of talent you will get in this league. Last year, Pierre Jackson. Uh, between Pierre Jackson and I'd say Bryce DeJean Jones, they they shredded this league pretty good, T. Speaking of Bryce, he will be playing his summer league action in the LA area. Uh, I don't even know if he's going to be participating in summer league. He might be just working out with the trainer. We haven't uh, heard much from Bryce lately. Pierre's wearing uh, Chicago Bulls pants. That could be a sign. Uh, Thursday night, the NBA draft. Pierre Jackson being projected right now as a late first rounder, early second round guy. Uh, he's, a, he's a dynamo with the ball. Really gritty shooter. Tough. Makes those tough shots, Joe. We know he did it last year in this summer league. Uh, and then he went out and proved it at Baylor. Uh, we thought maybe the summer league was just a fluke for him, uh, but at Baylor, he really started to light people up, probably from the confidence. Well, he's a player that you really wish that Rice and staff recruits very well. They came in, and it was too late to get a player of his quality, even though he was still uh, he was a JUCO player from Las Vegas. It would have been he could have really made a difference on those first two UNLV teams. May have ruffled a few feathers perhaps a Belfield and a Marshall's feathers, but he would have been the type of point guard I think that would have fit him perfectly with what Coach Rice is trying to accomplish at UNLV. Hindsight 2020. Uh, Savon with 20 points in that first half We're just getting word. He's a little uh, bit under his average right now, T. Well, his average He's got to pick in, it up. His average coming in was 41. He had 44 in the first game, 37 in the second game. So a 41 average. Uh, he's almost on pace. I uh, expect to see him get to the rim a little bit easier. Like I said, uh, I think we're going to see a winded team out there. A lot of dunks tonight. As, as you know, uh, after watching for the first couple weeks here on Rebel Net, that uh, Savon Goodman is uh, more explosive this year. And, Far more explosive. And getting to the rim with ease. Uh, but you already knew that watching Rebel Net recently, at least past week and two games that Goodman's played. He looks like he dropped weight, but it looks like he got stronger. Yes, that's that's what it is. He, he doesn't have that. Uh, Demetrius Morant just entered the building. Uh, it looks like we have a meet sighting. So, Johnny, cameraman, zoom in on him a little bit if you can. So he's it looks in, he's like in the bathroom now, so he's gonna have to zoom really well. Don't zoom too much if he's in the restroom, please. Whoa! No, we don't want any of that. Turn this broadcast into an X-rated rebel. <laughs> this is this is a clean family show, T. Uh, maybe some of our viewers would enjoy. <laughs> oh my! We're going to go Sam Johnson with us quickly. There's no waiting around here in the second half. We have, we, we have a shot clock problem here. We have a scoreboard problem. We need to get the... It looks, it looks like Scotty, the scoreboard man, just really fouled things up down there again. Apparently, uh, Coach Peterson's message, we thought it might be four quarters. His message at halftime was, as soon as you get the ball fired up. Uh, or let's unplug the scoreboard somehow, some way, and get a little bit more rest. Not a bad call from Peterson. John Robinson once did that for UNLV uh, when they were facing Wisconsin. Wisconsin, yes. Sam Boyd. Died. That was to stop humiliation, was it not? Great call by by Robinson. If you can't beat him, don't finish. <laughs> Looks like we're set again, T. Oh, yes, there it is. Fifty-one forty-seven. And. Right back to a quick turnover. Free hair washings for all the salon players when they win, Joe. It's a pretty good deal. Yeah. Great deal. Wouldn't mind taking that. See him laying out on the break, and he finishes with a little fail. Sean Muhammad and Dominic Watson, who looks to penetrate the lane and finishes with the left. That's a tough looking finish by Watson. 
Trey Kennedy, who had the highlight of the first half, with a dunk on Dominic Watson. It's Billy White from the outside. He shot that a few times tonight, hasn't made one yet. Frustration forces that dunk. Good look ahead to Muhammad, who can't finish. See him lane, his foot. Kyrie, a little behind the back, right to Billy White. He can't finish. Oh, it looks like a little bit of interference there, team. Not going to call it. Sam Johnson, close to the They're, they're falling back. Actually, they're in the lead, 55-49. Oh, wow. I didn't even realize that. No call there. Oh, no, excuse me, 55-53. Yeah, I knew the scoreboard had to be jacked up there. It was jacked, as you say. Zia White with a little three-point attempt. Sivon with the long rebound brings it up. He's going to go all the way, T. He's, his strides are longer, he's faster. And he's the first one back on defense to cover Billy White. Billy White, well, he was trying to do that, that San Diego State thing and cherry pick a little bit there. Nice spin move by Lane. Great defense by Daquan uh, Foot. Right to Billy White. Hot, never throw it to your backboard. Yeah. Backboard. So Cannon is in the though. Uh, just oh, what a team. quick move by Saban. Great back. pass. Great pass. And that's that's exactly what I want to see out of Daquan more and more of this year. We'll have to find out what uh, Kevin Young feels about. Take one hook. Long look by Daquan Cook with his eyes up. And Kicks one. The Dominic Watson. Put the bucket in. People are still piling in here, T. Yo, I think people are watching the, the broadcast and said, that doesn't look like a bad time. Uh, we are now up to 316 viewers. The night just keeps getting better here. Thank you for the camera work, Johnny Spilatro. We appreciate it. And remember, if you miss any of this game, they will be archived. Member of the Bishop Gorman. Uh, Class of 2022. 14, get it right. Yeah, but you're not going to pass every year, are you? But he, he is yeah, part of the audio so. department, Eric Gorman. Also writes for the school paper. Uh, Class valedictorian. Tom um, King. He's I, done it all at Gorman already. I don't have that stacked of a resume. Pretty close, though. He's supposed to be one of the studliest on campus, too. I have been told that. Kevin Young. Uh, we got some walking by the green. Savon coming with the big dunk here. Oh, no. No problem. You saw that happen, and you see a lot of dragging by the bomb hair salon. Uh, I think this one's going to be... It's, it's unfortunate. 25, 30 points. It's unfortunate because the two top players from Bomb Hair Salon are obviously sitting on the bench right now. It's hard to overcome that, T. Yeah, team president uh, Lamont Peterson couldn't have been pleased when he was told that uh, they're going to be unable to go tonight. I know he was really looking forward to this first game of the regular season, uh, get on a winning note, and that's the way it goes, though. Now we're starting to slow things up a little bit in the for Great, yeah, still shows off that versatile athletic ability. Savon showed up for the block shot, no weak side rotation, easy put back to you. The problem is right now, the hair salon struggling to guard that rim. Javon Goodman with an uncontested rebound up to Kevin Young, right back to Goodman, and the oh, I love the way he's getting up and down the floor. Kevin Young was calling that play about six seconds before it happened. That's what happens when you leak out. As he's doing once again. Ooh, take one hook with the steal. He's looking, he's got Kevin Young on his left. He's got Savon Goodman in the middle. And a 
Billy White's going to get some of that back. Gerard Bremen gets the dunk. Is the only person back to block the shot. Right now, his energy and, and everything that he's bringing in terms of getting up and down the floor is higher than anybody else out here. That's a great step back jumper by Kevin Young there, T. That's the reason uh, Billy Baino, former run and rebel coach, gave him that scholarship in the first place. The Rock Peters didn't have enough. Uh, you can see this one slipping away quickly. Vaughn Goodman with a couple dunks and a, a block shot. Full time out here, team. And right now, his team needs breather. Uh, as, as a team leader, do you think Jalen Kendrick and Roscoe Smith, the team leaders, are, are going to let them know what they're seeing on the bench? I think they're going to let Lamont take the charge of this right here. But you bring up a good point. I do believe right there that you're going to see two of UNLV's team leaders. Last year, I do not believe that the leadership on you know the squad was as strong as it could have been and these two Roscoe has a NCAA championship under his belt you don't think they're thinking about the uh, the girls they met at EDC this weekend right now in this huddle no I don't think so but they're playing like they actually attended well if you need a night off uh, this can be a... no one right now wants to face Siobhan Goodman no and I'm sure Roscoe didn't either Javon didn't either. Savant's, like I said, these games are tailor-made for Savon Goodman. He's looked great in the games. Uh, he's going to continue to do so. It's open court. He's strong. He's long. He's got a motor. He's going to thrive. We are being broadcast tonight by rebelnet.com. That's rebel with a dash. Simulcast on ESPNU too. As always. Now there is no simulcast tonight. We are working on that deal as we speak. Uh, lawyers are in meetings and things are happening. A lot of confusion right now on the floor. Any confusion that leads to a delay? Probably welcome the by Bomb Hair, hair Salon. You're right. Does it not look like they will be in their free hair wash? Billy White turns and faces. He wants a little. No, he doesn't want any of these. Oh, toss pass to Kyrie Anderson. He just wasn't looking for it down in that post area. And we haven't even seen Quintrell Thomas in the second half, David Bell in the second half, Hyden Great Ratner in the second half. Great take, couldn't finish. Trey Kennedy on the floor. Kennedy looks, Kyrie Anderson drives. Tish to Billy White for the plus. Trying to hang around a little bit, T. Oh, it's a 10 point ball game. Dominic Watson, long ball. Good, boxed out by Kyrie Anderson. Needs to a push. Oh, Donald Watson had that one eyeballed, but Kyrie Anderson, great decision not to make the pass. Billy White. Nice veteran and head fake with the end one. With Savon Goodman. Right now, if there is one concern during the Summer League of Savon Goodman's play, it has been uh, he is averaging 12.5 fouls per game. And uh, that's correct. That can always be a foul or uh, a problem in the regular season. But another great rebound. Fights over Rashad Muhammad in motion. Trey Kennedy with four. Some bad shot selection to you here by the level one athletics, allowing the bomb hair salon to hang around just a little bit too much. Billy White. Billy White's been doing some damage on this side of the floor. He's going to take Savon, but with the drip. And this time, Savon gets the call from the ref, and it's an offensive foul on Billy White. And uh, Billy couldn't believe it. Oh, it was a travel call, not an offensive foul. Uh, maybe Savon that's had him locked up in there, though. He did. Billy got him last time with the veteran move. That time, Savon wasn't biting. 
speaking to Savon, right back to the rim. Can't finish. Sam Johnson wanted the foul. Sam Johnson. Billy White going against Quintrell. Quintrell uses his big body, T. Great jump ball. Great jump ball. That's, that's the part of Billy White's game that's still underrated. Uh, Hyder Ratner with a deep shot. Sam Lane with the board. This is the battle of uh, preseason 2 and 0 versus preseason 0 and 2. They were the only 2 and 0 team, they were the only 0 and 2 team of the four in this league. And you know, Bob Absalon's playing with a lot of pride tonight. There may only be four teams, but the league has been pretty successful. The fans have taken an interest. Right, You're right. As long as the players keep piling in, as I mentioned earlier about Impact Academy, if they can get involved a little bit more. Oh, oh. Johnson. I Perhaps we'll see six teams next year, but they're not going to bring extra teams on and, and dilute the talent. They're going to want high-level talent. Well, right now when you're only playing five on one team, I don't know if you particularly need a couple more teams. No. Uh, but but you typically know. you'd like to see each team have eight, eight quality players. Yeah. Joan Kendrick is talking to Roscoe Smith, and uh, I think he likes the grit his team is showing tonight. Sam Johnson misses Savon Goodman with a run. Oh, great steal. Good play by Sam Lane. Who gets in the lane by Sam Johnson. That's a foul on two teams. See, there's a chance to make it a two-point game, but he can't hit a free throw, so it probably won't be. We wouldn't have thought that about five minutes ago in this game, but that's what's great about the Summer League. You can't ever count anybody out. These are games of runs, and, you know, sometimes... When you get on that run late, you can make the play. 69-66. Real nail biter here, Joe, with 9.43 remaining. See, I'm still going to call it. It's going to be a double-digit finish. Win by level one athletics. I'm just going to have to go with the combination of the heat and the depth. Good look in there. Tyree Anderson, ball up high against Dominic Watson. Great look. Sam Johnson finishes around the rim. I think they're better off sending him to the line, Joe. Absolutely. Dominic Watson is running the point right now as Nick Juan sits on the bench. Uh, that was a very sunshine-like move, Steve. That was a sunshine move. I ran the wide open to the corner. Uh, was unable to see him. And that immediately gets Nick Juan Cook off the bench and right back into the game. At the next dead point. Dead balls. Diva to a game fell. Oh, runner off the last. Diva Blake. How are you? Oh. Oh. If you enjoy high flying alley oops and dunks, there's nowhere better to be right now than uh, Sawyer Middle School here on 215 and Rainbow. Oh. Thomas in the lane. Can't finish. Devon Good. Couple boards. Hey, finish the board. For the bucket. 75 70. Eight minutes remaining. Skip pass. Sam Johnson. Line up at three. Just short. Nick one cook on the push. Johnson speed. Nice find of Hyden Ratner. 
Oh. Ragnar's a real good shooter. He's not showing it today, T. No. Yeah. In fact, he's a dead eye shooter. I believe he went to James Madison University. He did. Down in Harrisonburg, Virginia, Joe. One of the most gorgeous campuses around the country. Down there is a Duke. See? Yet another Las Vegas prospect. Hyden Ratner. Yes. Absolutely. Uh, right now, 7.30 left. Full timeout. Palm hair. Feeling pretty good about things, I would think. Coach Peterson doing his best to refill those cups and get his players hydrated for the final stretch. Better be more than water, T. Even I think Roscoe's, they need some. Yeah, even Roscoe's, Roscoe's Smith helping out. Filling on the cups. Teammates, T. Teammates. It's leadership. He can sense when a guy's thirsty. I'm already seeing more camaraderie yeah. than what we saw last year. The team unity here in Desert Range, North City, Summerlin. Usually some of the finest. It's almost like Boy Scouts, T. It's a brotherhood. It is. You're right. And actually, the drink that Roscoe poured was for himself. So. He well, was he's, yeah, too. it's hot in here. Air may be on, but it's still a little bit warm. You're right. Jelon knocks Trey Kennedy on the shoulder and says, hey. T, are you right noticing there? any notables in the stands tonight? So we'll keep our eyes out. It's it's hard. There's so many bodies here now. Usually, I do see Coach The Rock, legendary Coach The Rock, who coached at Durango, North, but it's now, now he's an assistant last at year. Northern Arizona. He's here to watch former player. Uh, I'd rather no, no. He he was actually at Follies. No one played at Durango? Durango? I don't. Right now on the court, no, but we know the Follies did, or at least. Uh, oh, yeah, he'll be there to watch them and support them. Billy White leads the break. Good to hear that take one foot. And Up that's. Ahead. Good one foot. That's the first time we haven't seen him run down the floor. Savon seems pretty intent on winning the Desert Rain MVP. At least a scoring title. And as long as this team stays under In the summer team, leagues, the scoring title is usually your MVP. Good find. Great kick. Good right. ball movement. But they could... Uh, so Coach the Peterson has done a tremendous job of getting these guys ready and keeping them focused. I don't know if Jalen Kenrick gave him those advice on those passes. But they were beautiful. Yeah. Good job. Oh, I have yeah. just a good move. There was nothing Billy White could do about that job. Oh, Al you could not finish. Billy White. Devon Goodman on the break. On the post. Hyden Ratner kicked out. David Bell for three. And no. Rebound Billy White. He's going to look the push. Kicks to Sam Johnson, who was fouled, but they didn't call it. Hyde Ratner, Javon Goodman with the reverse play in. 81, 72. That could just about do it, Joe. Cutting Tyree Anderson finds the bucket. And they just won't go away. The hair salon is feisty. See, I've yet to see Kendall Smith. Do you see him out here yet? I have not. Oh, shoot. Time. I don't know. Big one push. Just pushed out of bounds. No call. Chance to cut it to four. The big three. And he got it. 81-77. Five minutes remain. Still anyone's game. In the first game. And there's a volley boy as we... Uh, as we see, the two Folly brothers are in the house. I want to assume that Demetrius Morant is going to have a big summer league too. He's I hope ready so. For he looks a season. lot 
bigger by that. If he puts on 10 pounds, he was going to look bigger. But he certainly does look bigger. No foul call there, T. That I was heard. a guy heard a couple of slaps. I heard and it's going to lead. Big turnaround. Made it a one point Pivotal non call, T. That's what happens. Then you got to take advantage of it. And Tyree Anderson did. Looks like we have a Donahue out there. It's a triple from the 12. The line on the night's game was minus 22, level 1. Oh. That's what the books around town had the game at, minus 22. So I think the hair salon's doing well to stay under that. 83-80, 4.22 left. Coach Peterson doesn't even say anything. He just says, we got to sit down. He knows where... They're a tired bunch, dude. Right. They really are. I don't think you'll see any of these guys doubling up for the next game. We have four minutes and 22 seconds left here with... Level 1 Athletics leading Bomb Hair Salon, 83-80. to 80. I could hear Coach Peterson on the bench telling his players, this is us. I think we need an in-game mic. <laughs> Maybe we should have uh, Kevin go down and interview during, during timeouts and halftimes. Get, uh, You're going to become our sideline reporter. We're going to have you go and interview Bryce Masanda. Kevin might be in the house. There's another Rebel. Who, I'm, I missed that. Who just showed up? Kevin. Kevin Olakibi. Kibe. Olakibe. See him play. Keeping it tight. Keeping it tight. Keeping it tight. And, uh, it play. We'll see if how Daquan runs ball club. In crunch time, T. That was a great shot. Not exactly what you might have wanted. But if it falls, you don't complain too much. Yeah, it might not have been what they drew up. But he saw the opening. And CM Lane had just made a nice move on him. And usually in the summer league, guys like to get guys back. Good stance there by Daquan. He looks ready to play defense. And that stance might have... Force Sam Lane into the air at toss. Big turnover there. We'll see if level one athletics, the Panthers, can capitalize. Folk kicks to Kevin Young, turns around. Shot partially blocked by Billy White. See him laying on the run. Well, Billy doesn't like to lose. He's not going to give up, T. No, you're right. He didn't uh, suffer heartbreak too often as an Aztec, especially as a senior. And he certainly didn't experience it too often here in the city of Las Vegas. Clean. Clean steal. Don Watson. Can he get in the lane? It got a little he's, bit ugly. He's very crafty down there. Oh, was that, 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 that was time to kick it back out, T. Moscow Smith, Jill, and Henrik standing watching their team. And Sam Young the bench. Billy's making his presence felt late in the game. Claps come from the two Rebels on the bench. We got a one-possession one game, 86-84. What does you level one athletics do? Great. Cut to the rim by Dick Good pass. Good pass. Good pass. Teammates hooked it up for an easy two. That's where the fatigue of the bomb hair salon showing up a little bit, too. But Billy's, Billy's going to keep fighting it. You know he's taking it himself. Oh, no. Nope. Double team come. That's something we... See him lane with the big... We got a nail biter. Joe, this is what you can expect every game out here in the Desert Rain Summer League. Just nail biter after nail biter. These guys are just great competitors. Javon Goodman. And one. That is a big... Hey, now he steps up for a crucial free throw tee to make it a two-possession game. Could be the biggest free throw he's shot in his life. And, Probably uh, not. Got to be one of them. He didn't get many free throws last year. 
not during crunch time. But I think that may change a little bit this year. Savon's going to see some of those more meaningful. But in that state championship game, Class A in Pennsylvania, PIAA 1AA, or 1A. Constitution High. Constitution High, Savon Goodman hit many a clutch free throw in that uh, tournament to carry Constitution to the title. 38 for Goodman thus far. Uh, Two away from his average. Six away, or three, three away, away from, from his average. Three away from his average. Uh, season high right now, 44. It's still possible to get that. Possibly higher. Lots of players funneled in. This is looking to be a great game in the second game as EAT goes squaring off against Team Al Valdez. Just Valdez. Valdez. Team Valdez. It's going to be another fantastic game here. But we got two minutes to get through this one. And I don't know if my heart can take it, Joe. Goodman steps up. It's a little long on it. Team Lane with the ball. We got a chance here, T. Oh, great kick. Sam Johnson rises up. A little short. The uh, hair salon bench was looking for the travel there, and they didn't get it. Two minutes left, 90-87. Dominic Watson said, I don't need... They're, they're looking for one good shot, T. Whatever they're drawing up here, spreading it out a little bit, taking some time yeah. penetration. That's too easy. As good of a shot as you can get. Doesn't get any easier. Uh, that. Just no, done. There was no help. Savon's man was not going to leave to help and leave Savon Goodman because we know what Savon would have done. Oh, offensive foul, Sam Johnson. That's a crafty international basketball league coming out of Dominic Watson. He really wanted that call. He earned it. Meach. Ten blocks. Demetrius Moran, if we uh, focus on him, Matching about as well as anybody in the building with his red and white sneakers there. Looks good. Looks like he could be a track star too, T. Actually, he is. He is. was back in Gorman. Believe triple he stepped, I, I, jump, took, right? took the stake record, record at the high record jump. For the high jump and triple jump. <laughs> Fans will believe it when they see him throw a few down. Well, that's going to come up in just a few minutes. He missed the first uh, week. 12 rebounds for St. Vaughn Goodman, too. Double-double. Right now, yeah. And double-doubles are not easy to come He's by. He's putting up LeBron James-like numbers in this league. Yeah. Which, anytime you can compare yourself to him, it's a good thing. Rafters are getting... Full over on, on this side and that side. See how that walks in the drives, can't finish. Oh, numbers, see, numbers. We're going to have a tight. For three. Good. And it's a 92 game in all game with a 57 seconds left. T, remind me not to get into the sports betting business. I predicted a double digit win here. You did, it still could be. Behind the back. Dominic Watson finishes it. Rip, 94 90, 40 seconds left. Still time to do something. Sam Johnson bangs in a triple. Straight on. Savon, Daquan's using his speed. Oh, uh, and they foul Daquan Cook. Daquan Cook has to step up, T. He has not been in this situation for at least a year and a half. You're right. 
Certainly the sixth foul, so he will not be going to line. Gutty performance by Baum Hair Salon without their top two players. You called it earlier, too. Sometimes when you're a wounded dog, you fight. And actually, they're no longer holding their knees. They're into this game. All of a sudden, you have enough energy to finish. And it might be just the pure passion between Jaylon, Kendrick, and Roscoe Smith on the bench. They're having it's fun down there. The they're, they're having a lot of fun down there. You also got to give credit to Coach Pearson. He kept his guys in. We fueled them up after every time out. You're right, Johnny. Unbelievable game plan. Unbelievable coaching. And the fact that he went to the water. Big free throw by by Jaquan Cook. Excuse Dominic uh, Watson. Donnie Watson. Oh. Jaquan uh, was a 16 foul. So you got a veteran out I there that. Watson. 95-93. What do you draw up here? Your uh, Lamont uh, Peterson. A, a bank shot three. Mike. Seems to work. He missed. But a big offensive rebound from Kevin Young. Kevin Young. Oh. Dominic Watson goes to three. And they foul him at a three-point They're thinking shot. it over. It looked like a three-point shot to me. And they are giving him three. Is that as veteran as it gets, Joe? See? I'm looking at the replay right here. Yes. He was shooting. He was in the act of shooting. The replay did confirm it. Dominic Watson. Do you think you pull that off in a regular game, Joe? Trying to shoot the three with 20 right. seconds left? Knowing the foul's coming, we've seen Lou Kelly do it against Colorado. Smart play by Lou in that one. I think the headier ball players make something happen. Of course, if it doesn't work out and you're not being fouled, you look he might pretty bad. Right. But, uh, unbelievable play by Watson. And he drains the first important free throw to make it a two-position two. Now, it's a, two. now it's a two-possession well, game. 97-97. I need to really start to paying attention. <laughs> Wouldn't be a bad idea. And he hits all three. 98-93. 20 seconds left. He tried to bank in another one. Saban grabs his 13th rebound. And he will go to the line looking for his 39th and 40th points. I should just about do it, Joe. Uh, Valiant effort, T. Unbelievable effort tonight by the hair salon. Uh, Lamont Peterson has to be very, very proud of his club. And uh, probably really excited to get right back out here tomorrow night with these guys and earn their first W of the year. It may be tough. Uh, we haven't got a status report on Jalon Kendrick and Roscoe Smith. I would expect that they're going to sit out this week. Uh, they're going to need him for the stretch run. Sideline reporter Camerlingo down. Check things out for us. <laughs> See if they will be playing tomorrow night or not. Simone Goodman bangs in the first. Now oh, a little off. trickery. That didn't quite work. Only in the and summer league. You get some Harlem Globetrotter like plays, T, sometimes. And we have a final. Even though it says there's one second left, the ref decided to call it. Final score 99 93. Level 1 Athletics hangs on. Gritty effort, T, by the bomb. Uh, Pair. So long. Unbelievable ball there so long tonight. Uh, even in a losing effort, I feel like they take away a W. Uh, this is the type of win, or this is the type of game, even though it was a loss, that can propel you to championship type status. Well, what it does is it shows Bomb Hair Salon that they can perform well enough without their two best players. Right. And tomorrow night or next week when they get back, John Kendrick and Roscoe Smith, they have to feel positive that, hey, we can play with anybody in this league. All right, guys, that's going to wrap it up for this first game. We're going to take a short break. We'll be back in And we'll be minutes. back in less than 10 minutes, so be sure to check back in.